Oh, to protect them. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It Our is. Jessica Walter joins us now from Eagle Marsh with more on how they're trying to tell the public about their purpose. Good morning, Jessica. Hey, good morning, Kayla and Julian. Well, if you haven't been to the wetlands like here at Eagle Marsh, I definitely urge you to do so. I come here and take walks every once in a while, and it's a really beautiful resource that we have. Chelsea, tell me a little bit about the work you guys are doing here with the Little River Wetlands Project. Yeah, we offer a lot of free programming to a lot of different schools and people in the community, but our biggest focus is the restoration and preservation of a native environment. So we do a lot of removal invasives, plant back native plants, and um, just make sure that the environment out here is hot as it should be here on the Little River wetlands. And you're saying, you know, making sure the environment stays intact. Um, how are, what are things people are doing that they may not realize are harming our wetlands? A big thing is um, planting things that would be considered invasive. So something that is not native to Indiana, that can spread, um, that birds eat those seeds, then, you know, deposit those in other areas because then they grow and take over. So a lot of that is very harmful and I don't think a lot of people realize the importance of native plants within like landscaping and things like that. Yeah, it's interesting to hear kind of how all of these things are interconnected. And you were saying earlier that without these wetlands, a lot of our city would actually be flooding. So there's a lot of information to learn. We'll have so much more in just a little bit. Yeah, they're doing such important work here in our community. Jessica, thanks.